This video is going to be a super quick eyebrow tutorial. If you'd like to see how I get my eyebrows done, go ahead and keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Kathy and you're watching Vividly Kathy for Vividly Real Reviews. If you want to save yourself some money, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you'd see all my updates and new videos. Thank you. Are your eyebrows sparse? out of shape, barely there, come on, we got this. We're gonna tame these hairs on our face. Let's do this, mm -hmm. yep. First, you wanna start off with your spoolie. Go ahead and brush those eyebrows upwards and put them in the direction they would normally grow if they actually grew. Now go ahead and grab your angle brush. I'm using this one from Revlon. Using your angle brush, you want to pick up a tiny amount of product. Here I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Gel. You can use your Anastasia Beverly Hills or whatever you're comfortable with. Now you're going to make one continuous line along the base of your eyebrow. You may do so by making small continuous strokes, hair-like strokes, along the base of your eyebrow. You can use your angle brush to line it up as a guide alongside the end of your eyes to decide where to end and where to begin your eyebrows. Go ahead and take a bit more product. Remember, less is more. Begin filling in your eyebrows where you would see there are sparse areas between the hairs. Make gentle strokes as you have been doing before and you want to fill in the area from the top and the bottom. Remember to follow the direction in which the hair is ordinarily growing. Continue to add a little product at a time. Remember you don't want a big clunky amount on your brush. On the other eyebrow you're going to follow the same steps that you did. On the first eyebrow make one continuous line using short strokes on the bottom end of your eyebrow. You may use your angle brush to decide where to start and where to end your eyebrows aligning them to the beginning and end of your eye. On the top end of your eyebrows, you want to go ahead and shape it the way that you feel comfortable, the way that suits your face. On this day, I was going for thicker brows, so it's a bit straight and a slight angle on the top. Follow through with your short strokes to fill in your eyebrows. Towards the front of your brow, you want to make sure there's as little as possible product on your angle brush and you want to brush or make small strokes upwards towards the front of your brow. Once you're comfortable with the length of your eyebrows, go ahead and get a clean angle brush and take some concealer. You're going to use the concealer to clean up any stray lines or strokes that you would have made underneath your eyebrows. For underneath the brows, you should pick up a concealer color that is slightly lighter than your skin color so that it will allow for the look of freshly waxed eyebrows. Use your brush to begin blending downwards and to continue shaping your eyebrows. Continue the same process on your other eyebrow. At 
this point, you can stop the eyebrow process. If you're satisfied, go ahead and stop here. I usually do my eyebrows first and then continue on with my foundation. I am going to take a bit more concealer and run it along the top of my eyebrows just to give me a bit more definition. You would want to use a concealer that is either the same color with your skin or slightly lighter. When you're satisfied with the shape of your eyebrows, go ahead and blend upwards. You don't want to leave that sharp line around your eyebrows. Boom shakalaka laka. We're done. Now my eyebrows are not identical, they never are, but I'm quite satisfied with that. Nobody's eyebrows are ever exactly the same. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you would like to go ahead and see more tutorials, more reviews, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Ciao!